If your computer or hard drive is just a mess of different Pro Tools sessions and you just want to be able to clear it up and delete some sessions, or maybe it's just full and you need to make space so you can have more Pro Tools sessions, this video is going to be for you. Hey everyone, my name is Malcolm Ohmflood. I teach audio here on YouTube, so if this is your sort of thing, please do subscribe. We're going to explore how to delete a Pro Tools session, and more specifically, how to make sure you do it so that you delete what you actually want to be deleting. Because some people don't quite grasp how Pro Tools sessions are structured, and where the audio files are saved, and you might want to make sure that you aren't deleting the files that you want to keep as well. So we're going to explore all that, and of course I got a bonus tip for you at the end on how to save some hard drive space along the way on projects you're still working with. And let's just get into it. The first thing we're gonna to need to do is actually understand the difference between PTX and audio files. A PTX file, if you're not familiar, is a session file. That is the thing you click on to open up a Pro Tools session. So looking at it here, this is a song called Bleed. You can see that these are .ptx. And if I click one of these, it will launch a session. This is the session that that would launch. It is Bleed for YouTube. Right at the top there, you can see that. If I go back, lead for YouTube. That's that session's PTX. So all of these are just different saves. Every time you make a new save with a new name in Pro Tools, it makes a new PTX file. But what you need to know is that the PTX file is totally separate from audio files. So if I delete this PTX right here, click on that and delete, I didn't actually save any space at all. I saved a tiny bit of space. It's like 14 megabytes, but it's not as much as you might think. It's not like every PTX has all of the audio files saved. Those are stored in here. So this is all of the audio files for this song. There's just a whack of them. It's huge. And that is a much bigger folder. We can actually see how big that is. 17.57 gigs in audio files alone. So really our Pro Tools session is split into those two things. It's our PTX files and our audio files, as well as this other stuff. If we are bouncing files that might get sent there, clip groups, Melodyne saves, rendered files, session file backups, which are just more PTX files actually, and then video files, which of course there are none in the average song. <laughs> so that's gonna be empty. So the bulk of it is gonna be living in audio files. That's where you're gonna see the most savings if you're just trying to create spaces, deleting your audio files. But obviously you don't wanna do that if you're still working on the session. So let's actually flip over to the session here. And now that you're in the session, you might think, okay, if I wanna delete an audio file, I just highlight it and delete it. But that also doesn't delete the audio file. It is still sitting in the exact folder that you left it. It has just been removed from that PTX now. So this PTX would no longer reference that audio file, but unfortunately your hard drive is still gonna to be totally full. So it's not that simple. And I wanna show you a little sidebar here that maybe you haven't seen before. Bottom right corner, click this little arrow and it pops up with this little clips menu. This will show you actually all of the audio clips that are living in your session, including the ones that you can't see or maybe aren't being used actually, but they are being referenced by your PTX. So if you click this little arrow at the top of it, and then go down to show and then click full path. I like to make sure that's on because this is just the file names, but you'll see why this is crucial in a second. You go show full path. And now this is where the audio actually is living. It is essentially showing you the full path of that file. So it's saying that it is on my main hard drive in the mix folder under the Vogue Villains band folder, which is the band that the song is for under the song bleed, which is this song, of course, in the audio files bin. And that is right where I showed you earlier in this audio files folder here. But why this is important is that I have manually made it so that all of my audio files are in this bin. If you haven't done that, they might not be. So you might have some of the files in the song living on a Dropbox folder, on your computer, or on a separate hard drive. Like they could be all over the place if you're not careful. And what that means is that if I just deleted this audio files folder right here, then I might only delete part of the files because maybe they're not saved inside of that folder. So you can actually go and see and just make double sure that all of them have that same folder path. And if they don't, then you can just kind of right click on it and reveal in Finder, it'll take you right there. You could delete it from there. And actually I'll link to another video that talks about how to make sure you're saving them into this audio files, or at least more likely that you are, because that's definitely what you want to be doing. Hopefully it's just right there. And if you wanted to delete all those files, you would just delete this folder. So now we can actually talk about really deleting a Pro Tools session. And we know the difference between a PTX file, which is just the small little file that holds all the information for your session, and then your audio files, and that they are separate things, right? So now you actually decide what you want to delete. If you want to just delete all the audio, you delete the audio files folder. If you want to just delete a PTX, 
you can do that. Maybe you just want to have less of them here because like moments ago before I, while I was prepping for this video, there was tons of them. There was like this many, you know, just one for every day we worked on it. Oh, so many. We can delete all those. Let's just clear out this bin right here. Actually, we'll delete them. I don't need those anymore. Thousands. Ooh tons <laughs> that actually might add up to a couple gigabytes honestly but if you just wanted to delete the whole darn thing and not be worried about this song ever again or maybe you've backed it up onto your like archival storage hard drives and you don't need it on your working drive anymore then you just want to go back to the master folder for it so that is going to be the folder that holds the audio files folder and your ptx folders and delete that that will remove the entire thing from that device. So that is the most effective way of freeing up the space. Of course, you'll have to go down to your trash bin and empty that as well to actually see the benefits in your hard drive space. Let's undo that. I wanna keep this song on my hard drive. And let's say that, okay, I'm still working on this song. I just need to create some hard drive space. I don't want to fully delete it. I just wanna, you know, have some space. That's where this bonus tip comes in and maybe it was what you were looking for all along. Keep this clips folder open and we are gonna click on that little arrow again and go select unused or shift command U. You click that and that is gonna select every audio file or audio clip in your session that is not being used actively in a timeline. Because what you might not understand is that if I go and just like highlight this section and then clip it into a new chunk, we just made a new clip. Now I do another one, we just made another clip. So it's just like, it compounds. <laughs> As you're editing, you end up creating all of these different clips. And then when we then consolidate that, those clips still exist. They're still in this list. So again, click that, select unused, and now we can go clear or shift command B. This will bring up a little dialogue and we can either remove the clips, which takes them out of the session, that won't free up any hard drive space. So it just kind of makes things tidier. So probably not what you want. Now there's move to trash and delete. Move to trash will move them to your trash and then you'll have to manually delete them. Click delete and it will just clear them out for you on the spot. So it's a little riskier, but it's quicker as well. Personally, I like to just make sure I've got nothing selected. You don't want to accidentally have one of your tracks selected like this. Just literally make sure nothing is selected. Select unused or shift command U and then clear and then move to trash. I like the move to trash option. Okay, now this list is still plenty long because I still have a lot of different playlists open in this session. There's still plenty I could clean up. Now we zoom out. I just like to go and look around and make sure nothing is missing. You know, dig into your folders and if one of these was missing, you'd be able to see that it's no longer there. And assuming it all looks good, you can go empty your trash. Empty. We probably just freed up like 15 gigabytes. It's amazing. <laughs> so that probably saved quite a bit of space for me, but it's not actually going to save all the space. There is more steps we can do. I've got another video coming up in the future on that. So do subscribe if you want to check out how to like really archive a project and only keep what is absolutely necessary. And we can take like a, a project that's like 40, 50 gigs and get it down to like two and a half gigs. It's pretty substantial, but that's just a quick way to keep it smaller while you're still working on the project. I hope that helps. I hope it demystified and helped you understand how Pro Tools sessions are structured and what a PTX file is versus an audio file and just understanding that little folder that is created whenever you make a new session in Pro Tools. It'll keep you more organized and stop you from losing files, hopefully. Thanks so much for watching. I've got another video coming up for you right here and probably right here, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.